was kind of having a little mental breakdown earlier. Um, but it turns out I just needed to cry a little bit and stuff my face with a peanut butter and jelly and an entire family size bag of <sighs> sour cream and onion chips. <sighs> I forgot my makeup. for this dress rehearsal um, because there will be pictures being taken there's gonna be filming going on uh, I'm not personally performing but the studio is like filming for promotional stuff so first thing we're gonna do is put my contacts in I'm positive y'all don't want to see this so I'm not gonna talk while I do it one in but do let me know if there are any little freaks out there that do want to see this because you know what you deserve to be appreciated and valued as well and I'm gonna give you the content that you want it doesn't hurt me <sighs> two down none to go all right hold on let me turn on this light cool this area disgusting a mess You're gonna be okay. Guess what? You're gonna be okay. All right. We've got fixing spray, setting spray, the more fixing spray. Can you use fixing spray as primer? I've definitely asked this question before, but I don't remember the answer. I actually don't know where my primer is. Also, I'm trying to curl my hair. So that's why it looks the way it does. Like a little, yeah, I'm gonna blow dry it once I finish doing my makeup. It's fine. Who cares? All right, concealer. Um, so tonight is dress rehearsal and I am super exhausted. I had a, not a great day. The anxiety of living is just a little too much for me to bear. I'm being a little bit dramatic, um, but I actually am struggling. I have seasonal depression, but like, I'm kind of, I don't like, I don't want to move. I don't want to get out of bed. I don't even really want to be doing my makeup right now, but I know it will like, somewhat make me feel better <laughs> and like alive and like I have a purpose if I just fucking do it. I'm doing what I can to control the things that I can't and doing my makeup, not only just a goal that I want to, to do more often um, next year, but it's just like, it makes me feel like I can at least control my outward appearance since I can't control my inward appearance or feelings at least that is probably way too much i'm gonna look crazy and like a doofus but who cares right nobody actually <sighs> i'm just exhausted like mentally emotionally physically welcome to my channel here we talk about everything dance taylor swift and all of my fun little lifestyle things and in between i hope that you'll subscribe and hit the little bell notification so that way you get notified every single time i post a video um right now i'm doing vlogmas uh not traditional vlogmas though just kind of like a um, miniature version we're uploading when we can but it's christmasy so anyway yeah exploded my breakfast in the microwave this morning don't ask um and so that kind of set me off. And then I did not feel like I got a good workout in because it, I just felt like ass the whole time. Um, and I didn't do it as long as I normally do it. And I think I feel myself falling back into unhealthy habits um, towards losing weight. And I don't know how to deal with that. I 
currently don't have insurance. Um, and I won't until the beginning of the new year. Um, so I can't see my therapist. And I desperately need to speak with the, my therapist. I'm going to email her today at dress rehearsal while I'm just sitting there. Uh, emailing her is fine. We just can't have like a full on session. And I mean, like, unless I pay for it, which I can't. Um, so I'm just going to email her and see what we can do about this. I just, I feel like a failure because I don't really, I have a few bookings in the first quarter of the new year for photography, but I, and I feel like I'm being a bit dramatic because, um, I said that I wanted to like shift my photography anyway and so the fact that it's changing when I wanted it to do so shouldn't feel like me failing but it does for some reason the shift and change that I wanted feels like I'm a, it's making me feel like I'm a failure and that is just honestly bullshit <laughs> because it's leading me to do the things that I have wanted to do for a while, which is become a dancer. So it's bad, probably. Probably really bad. We're just gonna keep rubbing it, blend it out. <sighs> I am doing the things that I wanted to do for a very long time, but because I have to take a back step back from something, it makes me feel like I failed at it. And what is that, what does that mean for me inside of my brain? Like, why do I think that way? Why am I self-aware but can't accept the fact that I'm not a failure? Um, things are just changing. I'm not jealous of my friends and their success, but it does make me feel like I'm not doing enough. Even though I said earlier this year about my photography, I think I just said it I don't know if I said it here on a YouTube video or just out. I don't know where I said it. But I said I feel like I can't grow because I in the photography in my photography business because I don't feel like I'm in the right environment. And maybe it's less about where I live because I, that's what I was talking about. Maybe it's less about where I live and more about the type of photography that I do. So like why can't I just accept that that's what's happening? Oh, probably because you are raised in an environment where you have to pick one thing and do that for the rest of your life. And changing it means that you've, when you change something about your life, um, that means you failed at it the first time. And that's just not true. Maybe you just don't like it anymore. Because I love shooting weddings, but I don't. <laughs> I love weddings and I love the idea of shooting weddings, but like, I just can't do 12, 15, 20 weddings a year anymore. Um, I actually want to care about them again and I want to have weddings like maybe, maybe five a year and only if they come to me. Like I, I don't, I just don't actively want to seek out weddings anymore. I think I am headed towards a more corporate, um, like headshot and um, like concert dance photography, just a different space. Cause I just don't feel like wedding photography is for me holy anymore. Like I don't think that that's supposed to be all that I'm doing because I feel led to do other things. We're gonna use this uh, Coconut Restore Fixing Spray by Revolution Makeup. I bought it um, a few months ago. You guys, I think I did a whole get ready with me. Sorry, go. And so maybe I am just headed in a different direction. Um, outside of the wedding industry. And you know what? I'm okay with that. I have always been super creative and I have always been like super interested and involved with performing arts. Um, and maybe that's just what my focus needs to be next year is being more creative. Um, because of course you can be super creative with wedding photography, but I feel like I need 
more creative control. And when I am serving my wedding clients, I'm serving them and giving them what they want. And that doesn't necessarily mean it's what I want to create. Um, and so I think next year, I have a few sessions actually. I'm shooting tonight's um, dress rehearsal, um, a dance session, like photography session next Friday. And I'm really, really excited about it. This is like where my next move is. This is where my photography is headed. And I always said I never really wanted to do photography forever. Um, but I just don't feel like I'm quite ready to let it go. Um, so I want to keep that open as a stream of income because I do enjoy doing it. I think it's just, I am not in the right industry for photography. I want to get more into editorial fashion photography and, uh, dance photography and, um, just more... <sighs> I think I need more structure within my sessions, more of more controlled environment, um, something that I can uh, plan for. And of course, you can plan for weddings, but like, it's not as a controlled and structured as I think what I'm needing for the future of my business. And so I'm just trying new things in the new year and we'll see what works and we'll see what doesn't not saying that i won't take weddings um but i am just going to be more selective about the weddings that i do take um and any inquiries that come in i just want to make sure that it's something i want to do and not just for a paycheck because yes bills are important and whatnot but i also just I need to vibe with what I'm doing to also ha make sure that the people that I'm doing it for are having a good time. Does that make sense? I'm not trying to like contradict anything I'm saying. That's not like what I'm trying to do. I just, I'm trying to be as direct and clear as possible. Um, we're going to go with some brown eyeshadow for this evening. Maybe I can make my eyes look really pretty and distract from my disgusting contour. I'm just also just trying to be fucking real with y'all today because I don't have the time to like sit here and talk about, I don't have the time to sit here and not talk about what the fuck I'm going through because literally texted somebody just a few hours ago to be like, hey, I am not feeling great today. And they go, what do you mean? I said, it takes too much effort to breathe. And it really feels that way. It takes too much effort to breathe, to sit up. Um, and it sucks because um, life doesn't stop just because you want it to. I still have shit that I have to do for people. I have a session tomorrow um, that I am genuinely excited for, but my anxiety is not. And it's not the work. It's not the people. It's the fact that my brain is telling me you need to stop because it's too much, um, even though it's really not. Like, yes, I'm tired, but I don't feel like I'm doing too much. My brain is just overloaded, and that's just what fucking a mental illness is. Like, I want to do all of these things. I want to dance. I want to be a photographer. I want those moments with people and capture people's maternity sessions and weddings and things like that, but my brain keeps telling me that it's just, what the fuck are you doing, you know? Um, but I, I, I want to do those things, but my brain does not. Um, and that is what fucks me up. <sighs> and would I benefit from medication? Yes. The reality of it is I can't afford it. This is what we're rocking with. I am struggling. Physically, financially, we're fine. I mean, we could be better, but like, I'm not out here struggling to pay for groceries like other people. So part of me feels like I shouldn't even be complaining about this at all. Which sucks because my problems are just as real as everybody else's. Maybe they're not as bad, but that doesn't make them not as real. <sighs> you know? Like, I'm allowed to be emotional because 
my brain can't fucking regulate itself. <sighs> I will say, though, this time last year was a hell of a lot worse than what's currently going on in my brain. And I would like to thank birth control and my therapist for giving me coping skills um, to help with that. So, we're doing better than we have been in years past. And I need some more bronzer, but I don't know where mine is. Oh, I found it. Hold on. It's at the bottom of my dance bag. What? Not my dance bag. My makeup bag. I'm gonna put some of this back over top. And I need to figure out the lip situation. <sighs> okay. This Revolution Coraline nude lipstick because they're going with a bold eye. This shit smells like fucking paint thinner. I mean, it's, it works. It's good. It's a good fucking lipstick. But it smells like paint thinner. So probably shouldn't put this on my lips. But I'm assuming it was FDA approved, so... Gonna go in with a little bit of red. That's more of what I was looking for. I'm gonna pack these in my bag so I can touch those up when and if needed. This makeup area, a disaster. I'm gonna blow dry my hair. I definitely forgot to set my makeup. Let me do that. I also didn't put any powder over it. I'm gonna see how it plays out. I also didn't put on any blush. Oh my gosh. Using this fucking blush that's old as time itself. Um, pretty sure I got it in like 2017. My hair's just washed, but I'm gonna put some dry shampoo in it to give it a little bit more texture because it did not do what the fuck I wanted it to. <sighs> I look like a clown. I am so disgusted by my own appearance today. <sighs> okay. Okay. I feel like ass. I feel like I look like ass. I know that I don't. I know that I look like decently pretty. But here's the look I did. I was gonna do a cute outfit. I don't mentally have the energy for that. So sweatshirt, belt bag, leggings with pockets, um, sneakers, hair in a ponytail, sunglasses. <sighs> I'm headed to dress rehearsal. Um, despite how bothered I am acting. I actually really appreciate that you watch my videos and I'm really grateful that I get, I'm getting to dance. I just, I can't get on the same page with my brain. Um, and I want my brain to be on my side and on my page, but it's, it wants to be on its own page. But I appreciate you watching this and I love you so very much. Um, and I hope that you treat yourself a little nicer than I did myself today. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit better about it tomorrow. Um, and uh, what I'm not going to do is sit here and cry on camera about it. Um, but I do want you to know that, like, this is just things that I go through and things other people go through. And <sighs> eventually we come out of it. But, like, right now, it feels like it's never going to fucking end. And no advice anybody could give me is good enough. Um, not because it's not good, but it, to my brain, not good enough. It, it doesn't work because my brain just wants to be angry and upset and sad. Um, either way, um, I want to tell you if you want more just vibes, um, mostly good. I just needed to be real for a second, <laughs> um, about what was going on in my life. <sighs> We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Um, small lapse in 
time does not make it a bad day, month, year, whatever. It's been like a not great day though. Um, either way, like, subscribe if you want to. Um, so I'll see you in my next one. Don't know when that will be, but I appreciate you nonetheless. Happy holidays. Bye.